I keep interrupting myself with jokes or with a cough. <laughs> and you probably wonder when will I finish the story ever. <laughs> you want me to finish quick? Okay, Saka survived his wife and condensed within himself, and I've been born in a while. Okay, finish. <laughs> you want that? No? No. Okay. Okay, you are the boss. The guests are the boss. They say so in India. But when I was there, I wasn't treated like the boss. <laughs> no, I work. I work for whatever ashram I went to. I just like to. Everybody loved me, including the guru and his wife and all his drivers. They always tried to come and hug me, and I always tried to run away. <laughs> yeah. If you don't treat a guest, you don't treat a visitor like, like a boss if you're wanting to hug her, right? No. So that's not a treatment of a boss. Okay. So I wasn't a boss in India. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you. 900 miles in extent, the hall, the meeting hall of the gods, the most charming of all places in that heaven. Here on the eighth day of the month, the Dharma is preached. Probably a master came, or one of the masters, uh, Dharma body, yeah? Um, how is uh, trans transcendental body? I've seen in different places, and on the eighth day of the month, uh, the Dharma is preached. Even today, when men behold a charming place, uh, a place they would say, "It is like goodness, the meeting hall of the gods." When joy die. When Joy died, he, she also was reborn there. And at the same time, there came into existence a lotus tank called Joy, or because they have such a merit, you know? They were helping with the hall and offering things for the people. So when they're born in heaven, as, as soon as they were born in heaven, these are precious things, halls and lotus ponds and, you know, adorn, Adorn in heaven, just appear together with their re- their uh, rebirth in heaven. The lotus tank called Joy was appearing at the same time, five hundred miles in extent, or oh, less than the the goodness, ne? almost half, yeah. half of the the length of goodness. Maybe goodness was the first one to think about it. Or maybe she offer more, you know, the most essential things. When thought for died, she also was reborn there. And at the same time, there came into existence thoughtful's uh, creeper grove, 500 miles in extent. There they conducted the gods whose uh, prognostics have appeared till they are overcome by confusion. Mm-hmm. But when well-born died, she was reborn as a crane in a certain mountain cave. Ah, she offered nothing, right? Did not even try, even think that she would, you know, possess all this, because uh, Prince uh, Maha uh, will marry her. He didn't even mention it. He probably didn't even look at her yet. <laughs> Such is the fate of the selfish people. Eh? Do nothing but want the best. Always. Some of your brothers and sisters are also like that. So sometimes I had to use a different method. Because all these years of sweet teaching, you have to be selfless, you have to help one another, you have to think of others more than yourself, or at least equal to yourself. It didn't work. So sometimes I have to use a different method. I have to invite them to go home. After, you know, so many decades still stamping the feet over there, then it's no good. Either go home or just leave. See what I mean? There's no need to 
keep taking a precious space in my golden house. <laughs> Actually, this is more precious than in the golden garden of the Buddha, you know? Why? Because it's too small. <laughs> Every inch counts. You see, always I have to invite, okay, there are three places here, one place there. <laughs> Understand? Mm, extra, so you can come here, you sit here. Otherwise, you sit in other rooms, for example, or sit outside. If it's not raining, of course. Mm. I was so worried. But I thought last night we made a lecture. Stretch your leg out. I will, too. A sample. Just stretch it out. Ah, stretch it out. Relax, okay? Because I'm going to make joke and, <laughs> and cough and sneeze and, and laugh and wait for you to finish laughing. And <laughs> the story will last forever. Stretch yourself out if you feel, uh, you know, uncomfy. You're supposed to relax here in your house, okay? I said it's my house, but you know it's your house. I don't know wherever my house remain my house. How many houses I have all become yours, <laughs> you know? So I quit calling it my house. <laughs> I quit living in here, because I know sooner or later it will be occupied by Disciples. Disciples. Yeah, you're right. How you know? <laughs> how can she guess? <laughs> oh, all right. You see, that's how the story keeps landing. <laughs> I want to finish, but then it would be too boring, huh? You can read it yourself. <laughs> so why? Why should I read it for you? You see what I mean? But you are so spoiled, rotten. Everything Master does, yeah? Spoon feeding you with all these teachings. <laughs> you could read it yourself. At least the Buddhist people know all this or can read it, you know? Can research on the internet and read it themselves. But no. I'll come here waiting for Master. Master can read everything also. Yeah. Not just do everything, but can read everything. <laughs> like they are they are illiterate or something, you know? Yeah. There there are all kinds of languages translated into all kinds of languages, English, Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, etc., etc. You know, this Buddhist society translating people, they are very diligent in spreading the Dharma in this modern digital age, and we laud them, we thank them also. Because if I pick up another Vietnamese sutra and translate again, <laughs> then I think I retire. <laughs> All right, so, so the, the girl who offered nothing but was dreaming to take over everything, then she was reborn as a crane in a certain mountain cave on earth. Ne? Very good already. Mm? At least she did not go to hell. Mm -hmm. Saka surveyed his wives, surveyed his wives and considered within himself. Goodness has been reborn here and likewise joy and thoughtful triggers. Now where has well born been reborn? Hmm, he knew all of them. Uh, perceive, perceiving that she had been reborn as a crane in a mountain cave, he thought to himself, because she did no work of merit, the foolish girl has been reborn as an animal. It is my duty to have her perform some work of merit and bring her here. So saying, he let aside his proper form, and assuming a disguise, he went to her and asked, What are you doing here? And the crane answered, But, Master, who are you? Master is just the uh, polite form that people address each other at that time. Okay? Yeah. But nowadays people even question you, Why you call me Master? <laughs> they don't do nothing to each other and they call each other master. I'm doing some hard work. Yeah, at least I teach you some word or two, one word or two, right? And she cannot be called master. Yeah, I don't care. 
mostly I, I address myself to the Vietnamese at Chi Hai. Yeah? Chi Hai means the second sister, not even first sister. <laughs> or sometimes Chi Ca, uh, it depends. Yeah. Meaning uh, the firstborn, that's all. But I, yeah, I say the same to the Taiwanese, no? Some of you know, right? Yeah, when I talk to them. Sometimes I say Sufu because I keep calling Sufu, Sufu, and I also, you know, record it and I just like uh, <laughs> play it out. Yeah, forgot. But I don't, I don't care <laughs> what name. What's the name? Mm. <laughs> so she said, "But Master, who are you?" He said, "I'm Maha, your husband." So he has four wives, ne? So the, th- the fourth one is absent in heaven, that's why he went and looked for her. Good husband, eh? Mm. Where were you reborn, husband? She asked. I was reborn in the heaven of the 33. Do you know where your companions were reborn? Meaning the other girls? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I don't like to appear in the public. Because I have to wear a lot of clothes and cover myself. And, uh, but at least here I feel a little bit more relaxed. I just wear what I normally wear in a house. I feel like I'm at home. I don't have to worry that much. But still, you know, we women need a lot of time to wear this and that and stuff. Men, they could just sit here just with the shorts and nobody says anything. <laughs> yeah, some masters did that. No, you know that, right? Or in India, though. Oh, no, in America also some some masters did that, ne? How convenient, ne? If I do that, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Even the cameraman would say, Master, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> there was a film, a, Fra- a French film, I think. I don't remember a French film or not. It say. It, the title says, My wife is an actress, you know? So in one of the films, the director uh, of the script and the director demanded that the main, the main character woman has to strip. Yeah, she refused. After they keep etching, she said, If all the staff go without clothes while doing, filming, working, whatever around here, then I'll do it. <laughs> she thought nobody would do it. Everybody did. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like a, a nudist theme or anything. They cover, you know, like a woman would uh, uh, wear her, you know, these uh, kind of uh, uh, back, what you call that? Huh? The back that you wear on the, on the waist, you put your money in, ID card and all that. Huh? There's an, a special name for that bag. I also have it sometimes. Like a belt, but there's a bag in the front. Huh? A pouch. Yeah, she's wearing it in the front like that. And then she's slinging something around here, you know, equipment, <laughs> camera. <laughs> and the man also does similar. Mm. So I just saw, like, it's supposed to be done, but nobody saw anything. It's a cheat. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> It's funny, yeah. so it's like that, no? So it just look okay, you know. Mm. And they especially film with the angle, you know, that you see nothing. Everybody was going to see that film for something, and then they saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just pouch and <laughs> bells and <a> camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Or uh, hearing stuff that I hang all the way down here. A muff. Ear muff, you know, hanging, whatever, yeah? Mm. So then, of course, the main actress had to. <laughs> but it's so funny. It looks funny. Everybody goes slinging things around. <laughs> that thing, you know? <laughs> Just slinging around. Mm. It looks very funny. It's supposed to be a funny film also. <laughs> it's really funny. Why did I talk about that? Where were we? Before. Okay, okay. Now. Uh, so um, the uh, the husband asked, you know, the Saka God asked, asked her, do you know where your compan- companions were reborn? No, husband, I do not. 
Normally you say, no darling or sweetheart, and then, no husband. <laughs> but it's just a translation of the old time talk. Mm. Uh, so the Saka, you know, her husband said, they they were also reborn in the heaven of the 33 as my wives. Heavenly God has wives? <laughs> wow. <laughs> then it's good. So nobody's scared to go to heaven now. Hmm? <laughs> you guys like to go there, huh? <laughs> Even four wives. Hmm. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. No, the women don't like that. <laughs> the men do. But I, I don't know if they're doing anything up there, you know? It's probably just the names, the position, huh? All they do? Anybody know? <laughs> I, I never check on these things. <laughs> probably similar in different ways, yeah? Some some sort, some sort of uh, mimic from this world, eh? sensual, heaven, so probably similar. Should you like to see your companions also? So the wife asks, how can I get there? Say, Saka, I will carry you. Mm. So placing her in the palm of his hand, <laughs> I told you how big we look compared to them. Eh? He carried her to the realm of the gods and set her free on the bank of the lotus tank named Joy. Then he said to the other three, Should you like to see your companion well born? Sir, or sire, sire, where is she? Sire is a more respectful uh, address for the king, you know. Sir is for common. Mm, positions or high position even, or even a low, you know, normal person when you want to respectfully address him. But sire is a proper um, address for king yeah, or prince, a high prince. On the bank, she is on the bank of the lotus tank named Joy. It must be lotus pond or uh, translation, you know. It cannot be a tank, is it? So like a cement, cement built, you know, <laughs> it's not in heaven. It cannot be a tank, right? So the three went and looked at her, and they cried out, "Alas! See what has been the result of the noble woman spending her life in just, you know, adorning herself. Look now at her beak. Look at her feet. Look at her legs." She presents a beautiful appearance indeed. First, they ridicule her, you know, sarcastic. Yeah. Having done so, they departed, so left her standing there. Yeah, wives, they normally would never like each other anyway, so there's no surprise, right? Mm -hmm. 